I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Primitives and today I'm going to show you how to take a punch needle piece and applique it onto a piece of clothing. Let's get started. For this project you're going to need a punch needle project, some scissors, some light heat and bond, uh, iron, and your sewing machine. First I'm going to take the punch needle project and clip all the way around the edge of the outside. I'm going to use pinking shears because it ravels less. And then I'm going to clip the inner clip the inner curves. Once you get the curves all clipped, your next step is to press the edges back. And normally if I was doing a project, I would press the edges all the way back. But since I'm going to be sewing this later, I'm going to leave just a little bit of a edge there so I can sew on when I press it. Now that I have that all pressed to the back, I'm going to take my heat and bond and make sure you use the light kind because you're going to be sewing on it and the heavy heat and bond will clog up your sewing machine needle. So I'm going to use the papery side and flip my sheep upside down. And just trace all the way around it. Then I'm going to cut this out. So then I'm going to press this onto there. All right, so the instructions for the heat and bond say to use medium heat, so I've got it to medium heat. Get that arranged on there. Once it's on there, you want to set it aside and let it cool. All right, once it's cool, you're going to take the paper and peel it off, and that leaves this sticky part left here. And then you can Trim up the edges a little bit if you need to. 
Just going to trim a little bit of that excess off. Okay, then I'm going to decide where I want it on my piece of clothing. I'm going to put it right here on this sweatshirt. I think right about like that. Then I'm going to press it down. Then my next step will be to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew around the edges with a zigzag stitch. As I go, I'm going to pull the floss loops back and try to just get the fabric, the weaver's cloth. I'm using the seam ripper to get the loops out of the way. And then sewing, then I have to turn, lift the presser foot and turn every so often. But you don't want to sew while you've got the seam ripper in there. When you finish sewing, you can clip off the strings. And fluff the edges a little bit. Now your the garment is all ready to be worn. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.